Hello, thank you for stopping by to my YouTube video. My name is Courtney. You can call me Coco. I do videos on fashion, travel, lifestyle for the most part. And today's video is a video of how to style a matching set, so a top and a bottom, in my case a button up top, and flare like loose fitting pants. Many ways. I think I'm going to show you like ten and a half. I say ten and a half because one of the ways, two of the ways are very similar, but I did a little trick to make it different, but still the same pieces. I'll show you in a second because let's face it, the recession pretty much here. Um, and even if it wasn't, we like to make sure we're not wasting money out here. We want to, if we buy some things, we need to flip it. Wear it so many different ways. So I figured I'll stretch my brain a little bit, find ten different ways to style this set, and then that way, you can, if you have this set too, perfect. If not, you can do this with another matching set. It doesn't even have to be button-up shirt and pants, but it kind of gives you an idea of what to look for in your closet to, or if you go shopping to. Um, you know, style your pieces many different ways. So, that being said, let's jump right into the video. But before that, I always stop and show you what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing, of course, my earrings. If you're not new here, you know I also have a jewelry brand. I make jewelry, like these shell earrings. Let me get, let me get off the couch and get a little closer. These are the Lucy, spell L-U-C-E-A, so like the town in Jamaica. Lucy earrings, they're real shells. Get a little closer, as you can see, like they're orange dots shells um, and I'm wearing it with this cute crop top and you know sweatpants <laughs> the sweatpants are just um, H&M men's sweatpants but the top is from Amazon the Drop collaboration with Tanika B so I don't think it's available but once in a while there's a few of them that you can buy so I would link it if it is and if not Amazon and other places has other like sweetheart neckline drop shoulder tops and that's it for today my old braids girls Old braids. So, let's get around into this video. I'm going to. I already tried on. <coughs> excuse me. It's talking to Beth. I already tried on all these ways weeks ago. So I filmed that part weeks ago. So I'm going to put the cutouts, cutouts to the side so you can see what I'm talking about. And because I forgot some of the combinations, I have my phone charging here on the couch next to me. So I'm going to remind myself of all the looks. So if you see me looking at my phone, I promise I'm not being rude. I just want to talk about the looks, honey. Okay, now let's go on into these. It's so cute. Ooh. All right. Gotta take like a sip of water because I've been talking a lot. And I love drinking water out of like this wine glass. It's funny story. This wine glass was part of like a me manifesting this apartment, but I maybe I'll talk about that at the end because I know you're here for the fashion. So let me just take out the sip. Ooh. Okay. Because we got to romanticize every little part of our life, even drinking water. Okay. So, <clears throat> look number one. Okay, this is going to be a really basic one. But this is just to set the video, right? Because I want to show you the two-piece set. So, this is me styling the two-piece set as it comes. It's So, this was a collaboration with Finoel, which is one of my favorite designers. She also happens to be a black luxury designer. So, though she's one of my favorite designers... She's out of my price point right now. So when she did this collaboration with Target, I was so excited. I grabbed so many pieces. I actually did a video of some of the pieces that I got, um, trying them on and just talking about it because I'm a size for reference. 12 at the bottom, sometimes 14. Hopefully it's not too loud out there. And 10 at the top, so large at the top, extra large or XXL at the bottom. So I just wanted to show some of her pieces on my body type just in case you know people are interested. So I'll link that video up there somewhere. But anyway, as you can see, this is the set. Super cute. Even And it's Target. Target already has decent clothes to me, right? I like shopping at Target. But I find like when they did this collaboration, it really stuck true to her design style. So the pieces that I usually can't afford because they're out, way out of my price point at the moment... Um, she was able to stay true to her style and design, but in an accessible way. So that way, the Target version of her brand, I feel like, was still giving luxury. It was still giving, um, it's like resort wear type of luxury. Things I would want to wear on vacation or in the summertime, even though it's long sleeve. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm not going to make this video too long. Um, but this is the set, right? Okay, boom. So that's way number one. I opened the window because it's a little hot in here. But, um, <clears throat> it's a little loud out there. So this is going to be weight number two and then 2.5, right? So here's weight number two. 
It's basically this top, but in all yellow. So Tanika B, she did a second drop with Amazon and she brought up this color yellow. And I'm like, yellow and brown skin? Match me in the heaven, I need it. So I paired it with the pants because even the, well yeah, actually there is kind of like a yellow, a goldenish yellow stripe in the pants. So I thought this would look so cute together. Um, it just, even though the yellows are not the same, I'm not always so big on it being so matchy-matchy. I feel like this tone of yellow just looks great with the tones of these colors. So that's one way to wear this two-piece set, since mine is a pants for, a, for instance, and it's a high-waist pants. I love me a high-waist on a crop top moment, so I'm doing the high-waist loose fitted pants. And an off the shoulder crop top, which is like one of my unofficial official looks. Like, I, if when in doubt, that's what I'm wearing. <clears throat> so, yes, in a solid print. So, that's one way to flip it. And then the point five way is I, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I have like a little bit of a itch in my throat. So, one of her designs that she's very known for, Fina Well, is her bathing suit, but people also wear them as a bodysuit that's. It looks like a bralette, so it's kind of, you'll see in a second, but it's like a try, it's like a sweetheart neckline like this, but bunched together like here, so it's like an open crop top, wow, it's a loud crop top situation, um, and then the billowy sleeves. I love that style that she's into, so I was like, I want to make my top like that, so I have a whole Finoel look for real, like her style. So I, because again, I have a jewelry store, sometimes before I sell my jewelry i try them out for weeks maybe sometimes months sometimes over a year um just to see how they wear how they look honestly before i opened this window it was not that loud outside um so yes the airing this particular airing i didn't like it because even though it was sold to me as gold film it's a hoop um it's just it was kind of in between gold and silver, it's, and I don't like the post that goes in your ear. I don't like them to be too thick because I don't want to stretch out people's ears. I don't like those kind of earrings. So, needless to say, this pair of hoops was just like a trial thing. and never made it to the shop, so I just had them laying around. I said, you know what, let me take one of my crystal charms. So I believe I took the citrine stone that I have on one of my hoop, my big hoop earrings that has like a citrine charm. Put it on there, turn it into like a shirt charm, boom, I turn my crop top into more like a bralette top. And I did that with the pants and I really, really love this look. Throw it on with like a straw bag and now you are like ready for vacation. If you're going on vacation this year and you want to spice up something you already have, take some wide leg pants or this could have been a wide leg skirt, I mean a skirt, um, or shoot, it could have been a high waist fitted pants. Turn your crop top into a bralette style, especially if it's a sweetheart neckline like that, so it's easy to kind of like bunch. Um, you can, if you don't have a pair of hoop earrings that you can use to be the circle that holds it together, you can take like a piece of string, a piece of ribbon, maybe that's a similar color as your top or color that's in the top. Tie it, tie the bow behind your shirt so you can't see it. Maybe those clear rubber bands, you know, maybe those clear twine that you can buy from the craft store. Anything you have laying around your house, you don't particularly have to buy anything. You can shoot, you can maybe use a safety pin, scrunch it up, and then pin it on the inside, but be very careful and make sure it's a strong one, a heavy duty one. So there's different ways you can turn your tops, your crop tops, or regular tops into a bralette style or different cut of the top so that's the second way I plan to wear this suit this set um, a third way is taking the two pieces and kind of just flipping this shirt so instead of wearing it like a button-up I kind of wanted to wear it like an open back halter shirt so this could also if you have a bigger chest you might want to do this with something that's more oversized at the top maybe or maybe even not I don't know I have little girls so I can't really tell but I feel like if you want more fabric because you do have a bigger chest maybe if you have like an oversized top <clears throat> or you can just put on like a bandeau underneath so that way even if you need a little extra fabric you're covered so what I did is I think I have a video here of me doing it move to the side I pretty much kind of like because it's a silky material, it drapes easily, so I just held it out so it could cowl naturally, tie the sleeves as my halter neck in the back, and then tie the bottom of the shirt in the back, and boom, it's a halter. <laughs> and you can honestly do that too if you don't want to use the shirt that comes with your set. If you have like a big scarf that is a, that complements your bottoms, you can use the scarf, tie, fold it diagonally to make it like a triangle, 
and then tied like a bandeau top or if it's a really big scarf you could tie some parts of it in the back to make it a halter and then in the back for the bottom part so that's one way to do this and honestly I wasn't sure how this was going to look but I honestly like it I really like this style with the halter because it kind of still like covered up in the front and then it's like a party in the back because your back's open another way to wear it which is the way I have worn it I want to say maybe a month and a half ago um, when I was at the park is I have this very fitted crop top long sleeve shirt that definitely hugs the body so because my pants is loose fitting it is flared pants I wanted something that's tight at the top to kind of have the juxtaposition between like tight cute and fitted and then flared at the bottom um, and I chose a, another color that was in a pan so instead of going with yellow I went with like this sage because I just I like it and I had it I already had it um, and this one's a little different than the other crop top because instead of like you know Billy B shoulder sleeves it's just a sleek tight long sleeve so that way if you want to have just a little bit of warmth in your outfit but you still want to give the spring and summer vibe because it's that season this is a perfect outfit when I wore this thing it did turn hot I did not know the sun was going to be beating on me like that but for some reason after I got past the heat I was fine I didn't need for it to be short sleeve um, so and because it's such so much skin showing because it's so much skin showing in the crop top part I definitely wanted to um, you know balance it with some sleeves this time so another way to wear it is with like a tank top or a tank top bodysuit. So this is a bodysuit I had from Zara. Um, the last top was from Zara too. You probably can still get that one in another color. Um, from Zara many years ago, pre-pandemic. Actually, my last vacation I went on was early March of 2020 and then the U.S. shut down mid-March. So my last trip I, had, I bought that dark like burnt, burnt orange spaghetti stool. I'm gonna lose my list. Spaghetti strap um, bodysuit. It was cowl neck, but now that it's extra tight, it kind of pulls the fabric, so now it's just regular, but whatever. So, bold orange is always great for every skin tone. I love it, but you know, also looks really great on brown skin. And because, again, there's orange tones and orange in the pants, I wore with that. So, instead of having like um, a full shirt, if you want to be more casual, maybe if you're going to the beach or something, or if it's really hot. You want something more spaghetti strap like. I feel like a spaghetti strap, and I like a bodysuit or a long tank top so you could tuck it in so it looks like a bodysuit. I love that look with wide leg pants. So, this is another way to wear it. And I just have my umbrella because it'd be raining here a lot lately. So, oh, and this umbrella was from like Target. They always have cute mini umbrellas that are like colorful to go to outfit. So, that'd be great for like vacation travel, maybe. If it rains, you have a cute umbrella to go to outfit. The next way to style it. It's pretty much this, like just you know as is with the top and the matching pants. But here I kind of instead of just wearing it, put my lips aside. Instead of just wearing it like a button up, you know it's cute that way. Even if you tuck it in or leave it out, but I wanted to tie it into a crop top. So that's just a classic way you could just tie it into a crop top. And honestly, I didn't. We could call this look one two three four one two three four five six point six and six point five technically because you could wear it like this where you tie it up and it's like a two-piece crop top situation um piece of mouth breakfast i'm sorry um or if i didn't want to keep these same pants i could do the same thing with like high waist skinny pants or wide leg jeans tie the top as like a crop top and another thing I like to do I meant to do for this look but sometimes I will tuck the collars in roll it inwards so I remember or maybe I did do it I'm not too sure but it gives the neckline a different silhouette so instead of it being like the traditional collared shirt you tuck in all the way around the collar and also the top of the shirt too just so it looks more seamless and now you have like a wide v-neck crop top instead of a collared one so that's just you know a quick and easy way to flip this look another way to wear this <laughs> to wear this set is use the top as like a shawl you know something to cover up your sleeves if you're wearing something that's a little more revealing at the bottom here I'm wearing um, a dress again from years ago from Zara I be shopping there a lot I guess <laughs> um, and what was I going with this? Oh, yes. So, again, it's in this nice sage color that kind of goes with the colors that's in this set. So, as you can see, a lot of these looks, you're pretty much pulling out colors from this set if it's a multicolor set and matching it up with things in your closet, your drawers, your wardrobe that coordinate. It doesn't have to match exactly, but here I just have like a tight 
mid-axi dress that is thin strap kind of so if I'm going somewhere and I don't want to show so much chest and arms I kind of loosely tie this shirt over the top but in a way where you can still see the dress underneath and if I wanted to tie it tighter like button up a few buttons it kind of could look like a top and a skirt situation or you can leave it open so it looks like you're draping it over a dress um, and I really like this look for like if you're going out somewhere and you want to be somewhat conservative but then later on you want to slip into a little more sexy or if it gets hot you can easily transition with just throwing it over your shoulder and taking it off and here I paired it with sneakers because I wanted to kind of casualize it down don't know if that's a real word but I wanted to casual it casualize it down um, since I typically wear this dress with heels so the next look is a way I would wear it to work kind of depending on how open the chest is here in the video because again I filmed this weeks ago but um basically if I'm not in wide leg pants you're gonna see me in a pleated midi skirt that's like I don't know why especially a few years ago if you watch my YouTube video from a few years ago I was always in that always and I love that for work and I pull them out year after year excuse me so what I did is I just made the top like a top. I think I tied it to make it crop so it kind of ends where the skirt starts. I'm going to pair it with a A-line skirt, whether it's pleated or not pleated. I feel like those are always cute looks for work. So if you're going out after work, you know, you can just hike up the crop and the tie a little higher. But if you're at work, you could just tuck the shirt into the skirt. So it looks seamless, no skin is showing, but it's still a very cute and chic way to dress in the office. Um, here I chose a pink skirt because I like the pink with the tones of the outfit, but honestly it could be black, white, maroon, brown, because that's in here. Um, if you happen to have a set that does not have multiple colors, you could just find complementary colors. So let's say my button up was pink. I could pair that with like a red skirt because color blocking red and pink or pink and orange or red and orange are really cute to me so you can either find a color that's neck near it on the color wheel or opposite it on the color wheel or add two colors so you know just go crazy just go crazy with it there's no rules um let's see what is the next look here so basically the next look is going to be similar to the last one but I'm flipping the shirt so instead of just the traditional neckline of a button up I decided to like turn it around let me see how I did this <laughs> turn it around I think I tied it in the back, so that way it's giving more of a high neck collar type situation. It's hard to explain it, but I feel like back in the day, like old school outfits used to be like that, where it's just like no chest down, just some like high neck um, options. So just in case, you know, you're one that doesn't really like to show too much skin on your chest, this is another way you can do it instead of buttoning it all the way up. You can flip it around, and yeah, at first it may look a little like not usual to have the co the back of the collar up there but if you just you know play around with it tie it how you like it could definitely be a whole vibe another way you could have probably done it is like make it like a bando so it's tied the flip is going to be down of the collar but it's going to be like a bando that's another way to try it to tie it um but i just think this is interesting sometimes i know people like to just play around with their fashions do something that's a little bit different that's not expected but still looks good so this is one way you can play around your clothes turn your shirt backwards and you know play around with it see how it feels and find something that you like so you can wear it many different ways and for the sake of this video not being too long let's get on into the last look where we're going to be doing some mixing prints which I love I think I did maybe two years ago a year and a half ago at some point I did a video definitely on Instagram a few times but here on YouTube too of how to mix prints just in case you know you're not really comfortable or familiar with doing it and you just need a little bit of you know guidance I did a video about it so I'm gonna link it right so <laughs> you can check it out but here I'm mixing prints and the colors and the pieces they're very similar but they're not the same but what I did is because they have many colors in common so like I have the sage green in the top and a lightish kind of green in the pants they're not the same but they're similar both sets have the similar tone of orange and a little bit of dark color Whereas the dark color on the top is the maroon, the dark color on the pants is black, but because it's shaped, small shapes, you can't tell. 
So I love to mix prints um, that the colors complement each other. So because they have similar colors inside of it, it kind of looks, you know, like it could be a set kind of. And I also love, if you're new to mixing prints, mixing something with a stripe is one of the easier ways to go. Or other classic patterns like stripes, polka dots. Yeah, those are the two classic ones that are kind of like neutrals, if you will, the neutrals of the patterns family. Because you could throw in anything with a stripe and it's going to look good. Floral and stripe looks good. Here's like rhombus um, squares and stripes looks good. Polka dots and stripes looks good. What else? Um, paisley print and stripes looks good. I have a shirt that has some paisley and some stripes. <clears throat> so stripes are so universal that you can virtually pair it with any pattern. Um, and it's going to look good. So if you're kind of like, want to try mixing prints, but you don't know which prints to try, try things, especially either straight lines or right angles. I feel like those are the easiest to pair with other prints. Um, yeah, and I want to say that is pretty much all the looks. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, I know this was a lot of looks. I was talking a little bit fast because I didn't want the video to be too long. But let me know which of the ones you would wear. Let me know if you sn snagged this set because... This set was hard to get. These things sold out so fast. I got the top. There was no bottoms when I went to the store. Like as soon, I was there as soon as they opened the doors, and they only had a few things on the floor. Like it was crazy. It didn't even make sense. But somebody on Instagram, she was so kind. She bought the pants. It didn't fit her, so instead of returning it, she heard me talking in my stories about how I was looking for these pants. So I bought them off of her, and I took in the waist because the waist was just a little bit big, and the rest is history. It's great. Love the set. Every time I wear these pants. Every single time I wear these pants, compliments out the wazoo. Everywhere. Men, women, babies. Okay, maybe not the babies, but everywhere. It's like, oh, I love your pants. Oh my gosh, I love your pants. Oh, those are nice pants. Love your pants. So, if you got these pants, wear them a lot. If you don't, I'll try to see if I can find any striped, colorful pants. So you can, you know, get a similar look because when I tell you people love pants, and even if they did it, I love it. And honestly, I'm also wondering, like, could I wear this top with the pants, too? I didn't even try that. But, um, yeah, so that's it for this video. Oh, I think I said I was going to briefly touch on this glass. I love drinking water out of this glass because, one, it's like, I only have one in this shape. The rest of my wine glasses, my red and white wines, they're, they're more, like, straight glass with, like, a flat bottom and then the stem. But this one I bought when I was still living with my parents. Um, I went to Crate and Barrel somewhere. I was at Crate and Barrel. And I just, for some reason, this glass just kept looking at me on the shelf of glassware, and I wanted it so bad. I know my parents already have, you know, their, their wine glasses they've had for decades, whatever. And I bought it, and I said, this is my wine glass. I don't, I barely used it, because I told myself, this is my special wine glass, because I want glassware just like this when I have my first place. And I don't know when it's going to be, how it's going to be, where it's going to be, but wherever I go, I'm taking this wine glass with me, and I can't wait to sit in my own place with just me. And drink my fancy stuff or even just water out of this glass so once I moved I bought this glass before I even bought all my other glassware I unpacked this because I came in a little bit before I officially moved in opened up the cabinet in the kitchen put the glass on the shelf I was like baby we made it we're here we made it so I called this like one of my little manifestation glasses because I wanted some, I wanted an apartment or a house so at the time I was actually house hunting for a year didn't work out so many people kept overbidding me. I put in so many offers. People were outbid me like crazy. So I was like, you know what? It's not my time yet. But I, but I have this beautiful apartment. It's still my first time living on my own. Outside of like, you know, college or summertime in college, stuff like that. So, yeah, every time I, I don't reach for it often. But when I do, I remember like, hmm, I remember when I got this. I wanted my own space so bad. And here we are. So, yeah, that that's just a little story for my glasses. Not that great, whatever. But that's. It makes me feel great whenever I use it. So that's it for my video. Um, I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. Again, let me know what you like, which look you like. If you like my jewelry, I have a lot of others. My website is CocoMadeWithLove.com. And I also sell solid gold rings. I don't have many on right now, but I'll show you. These I always have on. I rarely take them off. They're solid gold. Um... So, you know, I also sell these in my shop and other few and some other solid gold rings that are chunkier too, if you're into chunkier jewelry. So check me out there. And I said I'll see you in my next video. Thanks.
Thank you for watching. Bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.